told you I would come back and show you how um, the fitting would be. Uh, this is, I don't have the barrel yet. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something that I ran into. Um, you know, these, these uh, pieces, when you're, you've got different, several different manufacturers building pieces, um, it doesn't always fit just right. So, and you know, it is known that when you get the polymer 80 and you finish it, everybody seems to be having trouble with the slide and uh or at least the slide being tight so i'm going to show you what is going on i don't even get it to go on the back rail at all it literally stops right there and um <clears throat> i already can see what the cause is and i'm going to try to show you on the camera what it's doing so I don't know if you can see this, I'm gonna to try to make it a little bit better. But this rail right here is actually not exactly a 90 degree. It is bent up slightly. And so it's hitting the top of the rail. This side seems to be okay, but over here, it's a little higher. Um, when you take this metal rail out of the, the frame, it fits in there fine because it it's squeezed slightly, I guess, from the trigger housing to the frame. The bend and the squeezing together changes the angle, and so now you have interference uh, of a fit. So um, <clears throat> that is basically what's going on here on this. Um, I've seen videos of people having similar issues, but they actually can get the slide on all the way. This won't even this won't even go in there. So, and I'm not going to force it. Um, so yeah that is going to take a little bit of work and I will show that in another video. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the progress of my particular um, pistol build and uh, I really didn't go into a whole lot of detail on the slide in the unboxing video so I will actually do that right now. So um, you got nice serrations here. Um, it says the model number on this is, uh, what is it? SI319, SI319 is written here. Um, it has the uh, caliber. You got a cool little RMR plate that they put on here that's raised. It has uh, Sara's um, logo. And the front of this thing has some pretty cool little angles. I like this. Um, you can see the overall profile right here. So. Um, pretty cool angle serrations. Um, other side has the logo and the name. And uh, I will put the sights on this sucker soon. And uh, I haven't taken it apart yet to check out the internals. Um, I will do that still and uh, update you guys on that as well. Uh, cool back plate. And um, see what else about this slide. Uh, that's about it really um, don't see any oh there is something interesting here there's a little V uh, right here uh, I haven't seen that on anything else yet and I'm not sure if that's for I'm not sure what that's for so I'm gonna try to find out for you guys why there's a V there um, but uh, yeah pretty cool slide it <clears throat> from what I can tell Uh, and I can get all the way on. It looks like it'll look pretty sick once it's all together, but um, as of right now, this is as far as I can get it on. So um, when that happens, I will definitely update you guys. Um, and then uh, some things I didn't go over that I will go over later. Um, I, uh, like I said, I told you guys before, I was originally an XD fan, I still am. Uh, that doesn't mean I, uh, I won't have fun shooting this and making it uh, functional for myself. But what I did is I upgraded the mag release. So I got the uh, Rainier Arms Mars and it's an Ambi. So I got used to shooting the XD in such a way where I would transition and use my middle finger because I kind of have small hands and I can't really reach the button here with one hand without manipulating it, which I couldn't do with two hands. But if I'm using the gun with one hand and need to drop the magazine, I can still do it with one hand. 
Now, the other reason people do ambi setups is obvious. You can do it like that. You can do the middle hand, or I'm sorry, middle finger of your left hand. Or you can do the exact same thing as you do if you were left-handed and push it with your thumb. And it still works to do that. So this is part of the training that uh, if you ever take a pistol class, one of the things is you're shooting, you rotate pistol in your workspace as you're looking at the target, never looking at the gun, using your peripherals to do, do your work. Indexed magazine goes in the sl uh, sorry, into the handle, <laughs> rack slide, boom, and you're ready to go again. So um, that is uh, something I wanted to upgrade. And that's something that really wasn't, there wasn't really anything on the market that was uh, as decent. So that is a pretty cool little thing I added to it to give it uh, more of a better feel for me and, and functionality. So, um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, more to come. Just wanted to update you guys on the slide setup and uh, and thanks for watching. See you guys.